Okay, I'm back here in the little smart car. I got a check engine light. And so the code that I'm seeing is the P0452 evaporative emission system pressure sensor. And one is related to it is a P0451 same pressure sensor switch range or whatever. Um, I tried to re clean and replace the gas cap, but that didn't get rid of the code. So the um, next procedure would be to replace the the uh, pressure sensor that's located on the fuel tank. So we're going to have to jack her up and we're going to have to drop the fuel tank and replace that sensor. Okay, so um, I'll get back when uh, I got the car jacked up and we got to see what we got to do to remove this fuel tank and change the pressure sensor switch. So I got the little uh, smart car jacked up. I had to remove this, I don't know what you call it, plastic belly protector. Uh, and when we look underneath the car, we got a bunch of supports oh let me bear with me for a second you're gonna see my towel on the, on the ground okay so oh god <laughs> oh man so i got the little car uh jacked up and i took the plastic uh covering out from under you see our our brake booster there and our trans our uh coolant lines and our AC lines and this is basically what it's pretty interesting but this cross member here is going to have to be removed so it looks like there's five bolts and then this I don't know if I have to remove that do they have to be removed uh yeah that's gonna have to be removed so this this pan here this steel pan is gonna to have to be removed so it looks like it's you know of course a bunch of torques and reverse torques and like they always use so doesn't look like it's gonna to be too difficult but yeah you know it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and get these cross members out. I don't have any gas in the gas tank I could maybe have a, a half gallon at the most so I'm not worried about anything like that but Definitely, I thought I was going to be able to lower the gas tank just a little bit and reach my hand in there, but that shit ain't going to happen. Okay, anyway, because uh, I believe the sensor is going to be, maybe the fuel pump should be on this side. That's the EVAP. So the fuel pump should be on this side. And, yeah, so, but, uh, I don't know, everything's clean and straightforward to kind of looking at everything all right I'll turn the video back on once I'm done okay so I got the the cross member off in that pan it looks like there's one two, it looks like there's one two three four five there's five bolts that hold on the gas tank and they're okay so I got the jack underneath the gas tank, so we're going to remove those bolts and then we're going to lower the gas tank and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the gas tank dropped just down a little bit and I was able to reach my hand in there and, and remove that, remove the pressure sensor. Here it is right here. And there's the cord. And you know what? This is a AC Delco pressure sensor. I'm not paying a hundred bucks for this. I'm just gonna get one for a Chevy Silverado. This is an AC Delco fucking pressure sensor. What the fuck? And they're 170 bucks at the parts store and they're 115 at geek parts i mean what the hell this is a 20 dollars sensor what the hell okay so 
what the hell is with oh, this light? This here is the part that I removed from the smart car. This is the pressure sensor. This is the AC Delco pressure sensor from uh, for a Silverado pickup truck. Gonna compare the two. As you can see, it's the same thing. Same damn thing. I'm gonna measure the. Oh no, they're, they're, it's the same fucking thing, man. It's the same exact thing. It's made in the same fucking factory. Okay, so this pressure sensor is $20 on Amazon. This one is $115. And the reason why this one is 115 is because you said it was for a smart car. If you go into the parts store and ask for, I need a pressure sensor for a 2004 Chevy Silverado, this is what you'll get. The plug is the exact same. Everything exact same. Same size. Fits in the fitting. You know, so... All I'm going to tell you, if you're going to pay $112 or $175 for the smart car pressure sensor, you are a moron. Shit. Okay, so. The fuck? It's not focusing. So as you see, I got the AC Delco pressure sensor. Fit into the Mercedes smart car gas tank. The plug fit perfect. And it even fit perfect into the snap that is on top of the gas tank. Okay, so our engine light is fixed. I drove it for about 100 miles. And as you see, no more, no more codes. Oh, wait. No codes. So we're good. So, if you want to fix a P0451, P0452 engine code for under 20 bucks, this video is for you. I am going to have a photo of all the cross references at the end of the video so that you can freeze the frame and look them up. Anyway, you can get the part on Amazon from anywhere from $15 to $40. You don't have to pay $160 for the fuel sensor. All right, good to go. Thanks for watching.